thank you very much for giving me the that, that opportunity. I'm not sure that I brought all that into like myself. There, there's a huge cadre of, of, of scientists out there who are who are doing the the, the work. I'm I'm just acting as, as 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 a mouthpiece for 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 some of them. I'm a negotiator for a constituency of of, of small islands that are the most vulnerable to, to climate change in the in in the world. We didn't cause climate change, but uh, we're the ones that are feeling the the impact and. Uh, um, unless the rest of the world uh, changes uh, the, the way it, it does things, uh, then, then we will cease to exist. So that message has to get out there. I first met Hugh in the late 1990s when I was working for the Marshall Islands, and we hit it off right away from the beginning. I appreciated his keen insights and ideas, as well as how he was very solution-oriented. While not a politician nor a diplomat per se, he could certainly act like one when required to and he would quickly understand where the optimal outcomes to any negotiations would be. He also had a great sense of humour, and was therefore often the target of some serious ribbing from his friends, myself included. He would then patiently wait for the opportunity to return the favour, often many fold times over. I worked with Hugh in a variety of different international processes, not just climate change, but also in Rio plus 10 and Barbados plus 10. And after Rio plus 10, there was a sense amongst many since official that the process has let us down, particularly around some key areas as renewable energy and waste management. Professor Al Binger and I convened a series of 10 thematic expert meetings to help us better prepare for Barbados Plus 10 and Mauritius. And Hugh was a natural choice for many of these events, and of course he worked pro bono, and he never failed to bring in novel but suitable ideas and techniques that would fit the SID's settings from renewable energy to waste and water resource management, often in an integrated manner and in a way that we could translate into negotiations text. The sheer breadth and depth of his intellect will be hard to emulate. He was hardworking, he was well-read, well-educated, but most of all, he had an amazing empathy for his fellow islanders from whichever corner of the oceans they hail. Hugh, I mourn your passing and will greatly miss your camaraderie and your drive to save the islands. Vale Hugh, Kalofai. Hi, I'm Liz Thompson, Barbados' ambassador for climate change, law of the sea, and small island developing states. I was previously a minister of environment of Barbados. I'm asked to say a few words in tribute to Hugh Seeley, Dr. Hugh Seeley. Mm. It's so difficult to do because a few words can't capture the essence are the contribution of Hugh Seeley. He served Barbados, he served the region, he served small island developing states with tremendous passion, with intellectual fervor, with integrity, and achieved a great deal in, in the context of his work, whether it was on issues relating to water, to climate change, to, um, sewage and uh, wastewater. Hugh was an engineer and, and his life was about finding engineering solutions that address the region's problems. But it, most of all, Hugh was just a wonderful person. Great sense of humor, fun to be with. There was just a passion and, and something that um oozed from him that made you like him even when you were angry at him. He gave of his best always. He gave of his best right up until the day he died. And he died with passion in the same way that he says he lived. He played a game of table tennis. He did it vigorously laughed with his opponent, bounced him and said, great game. And he was gone. It's still hard to comprehend. People say rest in peace, and I'm, I'm sure that Hugh is resting in peace at a certain level, but that kind of energy and passion doesn't stay restless. It, 
it just thrives and lives on and I'm sure that somewhere Hugh is being Hugh. So do Hugh, Hugh, my friend. I'll miss you. I negotiated alongside Hugh Seeley for a number of years and I always admired his grasp of the issues as well as his commitment to the cause of small island developing states, not just those of the Caribbean, but since worldwide. Hugh always based his negotiating positions on science and was never afraid to take a principled position, even if it appeared to go against the consensus of the day. Hugh, despite being an extraordinary scientist and negotiator, never took himself too seriously. He had a wonderful sense of humor and he was always able to laugh at himself. I think that his passing leaves a void that will never truly be filled. And I know that his colleagues in the regional and international climate change fraternity will miss him dearly. I'm a work colleague of Dr. Hugh Seeley from the Alliance of Small Island States. Hugh embodied EOSIS in many ways. He held firmly the conviction that small island developing states are leaders and benchmarks of ambition. He pioneered important initiatives for EOSIS that are a legacy of SID's leadership in the climate process, from the mitigation work stream to the climate champions, markets, and more recently with the Glasgow Mitigation Work Programme. But more than a legacy for SIDS, the world is better off for his dedication and for his compassion to a cause well beyond his own. May his soul ever rest in peace and may those he loved and cared for be comforted by memories of a beautiful life that touched so many and that will never be forgotten. On behalf of Climate Analytics, I would like to express our deepest condolences to the family of Dr. Hugh Seeley. Hugh has been a fixture of the international climate negotiations and its institutions for a very long time, a key figure within the Caribbean and small island developing states community. Hugh has always had ideas and solutions to problems, often well before their time. In other words, Hugh was a leader, someone who challenged everyone's thinking and way of looking at climate change its problems, its solutions, and all the issues surrounding it. He was absolutely passionate about the importance of solving the climate change problem, how critical it is for the future of small island states that we limit warming. He was a real climate warrior. He worked tirelessly to keep one and a half degrees alive. Through thick and thin, he was there to help dig out of the biggest holes in our collective efforts to get an ambitious international climate agreement. He was one of those people absolutely critical to succeeding with the Paris Agreement negotiations and many others. Above all though, Hugh had a great sense of humour. Even in the darkest moments of the international climate negotiating times, remember he would make light and fun by digging out of somewhere, some long forgotten memory, a humiliation of Australia at the hands of the West Indies cricket teams of years past. Always fun, always good for laugh, and always helped us get over the most difficult times. The passing of someone like Hugh before their time leaves a huge gap that can take years to fill in the regional and international community, let alone the devastation and sadness his untimely passing will cause with his family and closest friends. Hugh would want us to pick ourselves up, to bat on, rebuild, and get on and work to solve the most important task we have ahead of us, which is to limit warming to one and a half degrees, one and a half degrees to keep alive our small island states and others. May Hugh rest in peace.
Rest in peace, brother you. I will miss you. I will miss the intellectually stimulating debates on issues of climate change and sustainable development. I can always count on you to advance some profound thoughts on these issues. I will definitely miss the no holds barred debates. I remember being invited by you as a guest lecturer to your class at the St. George's University and remember us arguing and debating in front of the students. This was a great spectacle for them, but it was your way, your method of stimulating their passion and enhancing the learning of the subject. Such was your methods. Rest in peace, brother. You will be missed. If people care about climate change, the politicians will start caring about, uh, about climate change and they will pass the right policies that will get us out of, of, of this crisis uh, that we're in. Because I'm absolutely convinced that we're on the cusp of a revolution.